So this is the diamond tip microderm abrasion. On this diamond tip microderm abrasion, there is a power switch on the back, okay? And you're gonna turn your power switch on back here. It also has a timer on it, okay? And so you need the timer to be on, because right now it's at zero, in order for any suction to come out. It also has here uh, your rheostat for your suction, whether you can go higher or lower on the face. And you have an array of different diamond tips. Uh, this, unlike the other machine where it has disposable tips, these you can disinfect and reuse because there is diamond chips on here. And when we use the machine, we actually use a little filter for each one as well. What I do is I put my filter right here into the tip. And then you screw the tip right onto here. So that way, anything I pick up from the client will hit onto that filter and it doesn't end up inside your machine. And then you turn your timing on into here and you're ready to go. With diamond tips, I like to have the PSI at about 10 to 11. So I'm gonna, can you see right into here? So I'm gonna turn this up till it's about 10 to 11. And that's good for the face. If I'm working on the body, I'll turn that PSI a little bit higher, maybe up to 15. But on the face, about 10 or 11 is usually the best for that. And you may even want to turn it down a little bit lower in the eye area because it is very, the, the eyelids are the thinnest skin on the body. Um, if I'm working over broken capillaries, I may want to turn the PSI down. And again, taking it onto the skin, letting the skin come up to the tool, gliding it across, just like so. And again, you're going to create a grid vertical and horizontal. What's nice about the diamond tip also is that there's different tips. This tip here is mostly for the face. I have a larger one with a coarser grid here that's for the body. Say so if I'm dealing with somebody who had a, um, a tummy tuck and they've got a pretty bad incision, I would use this one. Um, I've used this over the top of keloided scars to plane that down. Um, I have clients who have acne on, had acne on their back, they've got acne scars, I would use the broader tip for scars on the body. This one's better for the face. Another tip you have are the small ones here, you can see for around the nasal fossae, getting into the deep cresses of the nose. Uh, using this underneath the eye is kind of nice as well. And all you do is you simply will turn our machine off, take this one off, Put another filter inside here, screw it in, and it's ready to go. And, but what's nice about this, you can see, is that it can go right into really deep crosses, tight places. This has a timer on it, which is really kind of nice. You kind of sometimes get lost in your work, so this will actually automatically shut off at a certain point in time. Very, very simple. You have a nice long cord on this, so you can really reach it out with your clients. One other thing I should show you is that sometimes things can bypass the filter. If things bypass the filter, the machine actually has another filter on it. The filter is here into the back. You can see right here. And this actually can come off and you can clean this area as well. So you've got a second filter. But usually this doesn't have to be cleaned, maybe every once a year or whatever. And then these come off. Um, so you always want to make sure that you remove the filter before you wash it with soap and water, put it in your disinfectant, then rinse it and dry it. Always make sure that you dry them out good before you put them back in the case.